वट इज़ आप गाइज कैसे हो आप लोग वी आर बैक राइडिंग अनदर ब्रांड न्यू मोटरसाइकिल दिस वन इज अ रिसेंटली लॉन्च डुकाटी विदाउट फर्दर अडू लेट मी जस्ट रिवील दिस अमेजिंगली पावरफुल रैली मशीन टू यू हेयर वी हैव इट दिस इज द डुकाटी डेजर्ट एक्स रैली लुक एट दिस मशीन गाइज दिस लुक स्टनिंग द ग्राफिक्स द डिज़ाइन द स्पेक्स ऑन दिस मोटरसाइकिल दिस कम्स फुल्ली लोडेड रेडी टू गो ऑन अ जकार रेस the suspension 250 mm of travel at the front 250 mm of travel at the rear 108 bhp 93 newton meters of torque this motorcycle for sure packs a big punch now i am 180 cm tall and getting on this motorcycle for me is also proving to be a little bit sketchy 900 mm of seat height is massive for context my tiger has 850 mm of seat height and 840 850 is something that i can manage now for someone who is below 6 feet or 5 10 5 11 i think this motorcycle requires you to have certain amount of skill level before even swinging your leg over it anyways it's a friday morning and i am starting from the south delhi area specifically in vasant kunj and we are going towards greater noida so we'll be going through the main south delhi traffic and i will share my first hand experience of how riding such a huge rally motorcycle feels in city traffic because uh, let's accept the fact whoever is going to buy this motorcycle is not just going to go and do the dakar race they have to live with it on a i would say a weekend basis not a daily basis this is not in any ways a daily driver but still you will have to ride to the city if you want to tour or you want to maybe take it to office on a friday or a thursday a couple of days here and there it has to serve some sort of a purpose in the city as well now this looks clean and classy that's what i have to say about this machine the way it's designed look at this big ducati branding here doesn't it look amazing and if you see this portion you have these tube spoke wheels these are not cross spoke these are spoke wheels the suspension that's the star of the show and we will definitely experience this on a trail ride coming towards the rear end of the motorcycle you see a very minimalistic style very typical of a rally bike this is meant to be a rally bike because there was a version which was launched before it which was the desert x standard version and this one is devoid of any sort of grab rails or any sort of extra things on the tail this is slim to kind of make the 900 mm seat height a little manageable it's time to get on this machine let me just get all set and get on this 900 mm of seat height getting on this oh ho, ho, ho. i have to <laughs> really do i experience this on any of the machines so i have to get used to it by the way there is a steering dampener as well so to make things stable on the trail when you hit those hard bumps and let's switch this thing on this is stunning beautiful ducati desert x rally and let's start first ignition on the desert x let's go wow <laughs> man it felt so natural to saddle on this motorcycle i just can't tell you this is coming from a person who rides a tiger 900 rally pro which has the name rally in it this one takes things a notch above a minute or so back i was talking about the seat height and while riding this motorcycle you just tend to forget that you are perched on such a high seat now what is this red 00 Is it a red is it a green No it's rally time Wow crazy As we encounter this string of signals in South Delhi one thing that is becoming a little clearer is how the engine is heating up at trolling speeds 
or at standstill i am getting hit by a little bit of warm air that is coming from the engine on the underside of my right thigh that is where i am experiencing it right now but as soon as you get moving is bye bye and welcome to lana land one thing that i would like to talk about is this beautiful display that ducati has on the desert x the desert x rally as well this is how you design a simple yet functional display with this negative black sort of a background that you get the readability is amazing it's so refreshing to see a display of this sort of style in times where you normally get those landscape sort of orientation wide displays i have one on my tiger similarly you have such displays on the africa twin and other motorcycles such as 1300 gs as well this one is such a fresh new approach that feels so amazing so beautiful and at the same time it's super functional as well this is something that most of the manufacturers would not provide this sort of a clamp here to mount uh, maybe a gps unit your phone whatever you want to do this is coming as stock on the desert x rally one thing that i have observed is the tank range is a little iffy the moment i started it was showing about 82 kilometers of tank range and now while i've started moving for the past 10 15 minutes the tank range has increased to 132 now it was 111 while i started speaking about the tank range so it's changing very fast not sure how reliable this is handling taking u turns on this machine is a cake walk right now we just took that turn and this thing is surprisingly easy to maneuver that is something that i am really impressed with that u turn felt so easy to take the slim profile of this motorcycle in this narrow waistline the handling everything is just coming together so well in terms of the ride experience so here we start the fun third gear 24 23 kmph we are near aims rush hour traffic on a friday morning and i am saddling right in front of me is a massive traffic jam and this is really going to be a good test of whether this motorcycle can be used in the city i know this is a rally motorcycle it is supposed to be doing all that dune bashing and taking on those tough trails but to reach there you have to go through the city and how many times are you going to go and do those hardcore trails in the year maybe once a month then what about the remaining 350 odd days if you have to have this machine in your garage and you want to live with it then sometimes you definitely will have to take it out in the traffic and as i said we are in the peak rush hour traffic i am right now at 7 kmph and in the second gear so let's lower the gear down first gear crawling at around 10 11 and this is really the crawling stuff that we get in delhi ncr i had to open my visor i was just feeling so warm inside the helmet you see this that 90 odd bhp of torque is just waiting to be unleashed in this sort of a machine i am super impressed by the way this thing is handling and how light this feels there is some magic that ducati has done on this one i've just ridden this for 10 or 12 kilometers from vasant kunj and already i am convinced that this is one of the most nimble feeling and agile motorcycles in the adventure touring segment that despite it having an unwelcoming 900 mm seat height the moment you get rolling on this machine you just forget everything everything i mean you will forget all the specs and start enjoying the machine this is crazy 
and the exhaust note i'm not sure if you guys can hear that is infectious a few days ago i was riding the suzuki v storm 800 de which has an exhaust note in the silent mode you cannot even hear the exhaust when you are throttling the motorcycle hard but this one wow <laughs> craziness If there is a motorcycle that can give you that big grin inside your helmet is this Ducati. And this is where this Desert X rally shines. You just go through traffic so easily. Car is so accessible. The talk slightest opening of the throttle and you just are hurled forward no motorcycle that i've ridden so far has such a perfect saddling position this one in its stock setup is just amazing for reference i am 180 centimeters tall and knees holding the bike Standing on the balls of the feet, heels down and just near perfection in terms of the saddling position here on this machine. No risers required, no nothing, no bullshit required to be added on this motorcycle to add weight. In its stock form, this feels just perfect. Now let's go on the Ducati Desert X. to go above 6000 rpm because this is a motorcycle that is being run in but even before 6000 rpm you get that feel of madness that you expect from any Ducati this machine is driving me crazy oh and the brake bite is top notch you saw that whatever that was Mahindra vehicle coming on the left and the single tap a slight tap on the front brake and it shed off speed so impressively now even while we are on these highway speeds almost on the triple digit speeds still I feel a little bit of a warm air blast coming now on the inside of my right thigh and the inside of my left thigh as well initially it started with the underside part of my right thigh now it's coming from everywhere but it's very mild nothing that will worry you and of course i assume that you will be riding a ducati desert x rally while wearing complete riding gear i hope you are not that type of fool who will want to ride it in jeans and sport shoes I really hope so. Three, two, one, launch. Are anti police bulla legi? So guys, now finally I'm about to reach home in the next 
five seven minutes while this Ducati red Honda Brio takes overtakes me but the experience on this first ride has been nothing short of exceptional I have fallen in love with this machine I don't need to repeat that fact the power the comfort the agility the exhaust note for an adventure touring motorcycle actually it's a rally motorcycle the rally version so even after that the suspension everything how it's working together is just amazing to see on such a machine this for me is easily and by a fair margin the best adventure motorcycle i have ridden in the next video i will be taking this rally motorcycle to where it belongs on the trails and that is something of course that you should watch out for that is it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed this first ride impression road ride impressions of the ducati desert x rally i hope to see you in the next video guys bye bye